Hello everyone, welcome to my Lanner 7525 VoIP setup. I will configure this router the same way as I normally do for setting up VoIP in a small business environment. First, uh, let's log into our uh, PFSense here, standard admin and PFSense for the default password. You should always change that. First thing we're gonna do is go to system, advanced, Firewall and NAT, and we're going to change the uh, firewall optimization options. Uh, for environments that don't have VoIP, you can leave it like that, but if you do have VoIP, you need to change this to conservative. Now this ends up working much better, you have phones that don't drop the registration and just better service overall. If you don't do this, you're going to encounter some problems with certain phones. So let's... Uh, just save this. The other thing we're going to do is go into miscellaneous here and scroll all the way to the bottom almost. And in the gateway monitoring, we're going to select the state killing on gateway failure. Now, if you have clients that have bad internet or their internet keeps failing, this will flush the states uh, so that the phones can re-register. If you don't do that, you end up having phones that are just may go on for 5, 10, 15 minutes unregistered or, or until you reset them. Uh, this makes it so that the, the re-register again much quicker. Uh, you could also force this option. Let's first save this. So if you want to force uh, killing the state, so if your client calls you up and says everything is working except their phones, you could actually do this from the uh, main page here. If you scroll here, let's see. Right here where it says um, state table size, you could click on show states. And if you click on the reset states tab, there's an option here. If you check it and select reset, it will actually do the same thing. So you can manually force this option. All right, the last thing we need to do is go into firewall and select traffic shaper. We're going to select wizards and we're going to select the multiple LAN WAN, even though we're only going to be setting up one WAN and one LAN interface. Next, and we're going to leave the defaults here. And my settings here are uh, for upload 10 megabits and 100 for download. Um, you provide the settings for your setup, do a speed test, do a number of speed tests, get the, put the value in that you get most often. Here you can, um, Check this to prioritize voice over IP traffic. Uh, provider, uh, if your provider is listed in here, you can select it. But generally, I leave this area empty. So I'm going to change this again to megabits here. And I'm going to specify one meg. And um, the same thing for the download. Now, VoIP doesn't use much. Um, you only need to set aside the amount of bandwidth that you're actually going to be using. Let's move on to the next step. Now you can enable the um, this option if you want to lower the priority for peer-to-peer -peer traffic. Um, it's up to you if your environment uses that. I'm just going to skip over that because it doesn't really depend much on VoIP. Uh, if you do gaming, most businesses know, so we can kind of skip that. Okay, so this area I generally configure. So I want um, RDP to be quick. Uh, if you use VNC, you can set that to be quick as well. And any other protocols that you use here.
And that's it. That's uh, that's basically our VoIP setup. So I think that's where we will end this at.